don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. All right, yes, sir, it is your boy KB, the boss from ShifterMagazine.com. And today we're talking with one of the hottest rappers in the game right now, uh, BET Calder, Brooklyn's Next Up. And uh, she's giving us some big tracks, giving us Don't Play With It, 25 million streams uh, on the original, you know, just over 3 million on the remix. And she recently gave us a new track called Just Relax. So we're talking with none other than Lola Brooke. Well, first of all, I just want to say congratulations on all of the success. I mean, I feel like I'm seeing you everywhere now. And we also saw you recently, you know, on stage in Toronto. Yes. You, you were, you know, you were there on the, the, the tour with Nav, you know, bringing some yeah. high energy to the, to the, to the stage. Um, before we kind of get into, into talking about your own music, what was that experience like? Cause obviously like Travis Scott was in the building, Meek Mill was in the building. Yeah, what, what was that? Uh, pretty much everyone. No, not everyone, but I, I got to meet a few artists or whatever. But it was so crazy because when I got there, I had, oh, I forgot where I was coming from, but the flight delayed. And from the flight delaying, it pushed everything back for me to prepare for the show. So when I finally landed, got to the arena, I had some soap and stuff. I was like, yo, I'm just hurry up, get in the shower. And then all I heard was Lola. You had five minutes. I was like, five minutes? Oh no, pass me my shades, pass me my airport outfit again. I'm just gonna just thug it out. And I just ran out there like if, I ran out there like if I was late. Like, <laughs> I ran out there like I was late. So is, that, so is that where all the energy, cause I was like, yo, this girl's so high energy. Was that, was that kind of like the adrenaline rush of just like no chance to prepare? Yeah, right. It was just like, listen, um, whatever time that you have, work with it so that you don't be too far, far behind and go out there and just give it a show. Because I didn't have, I had a, I had a little cute outfit, and everything. I couldn't mm. put on my cute fit, do my makeup or anything. So I was like, you just got to make it count in a, you know, in all aspects. Mm -hmm. Now, now, where does that the energy come from? Because you, you, you're so so high energy, like. Where does that just energy come from? Were you like that kid that was always like jumping off your mom's furniture? Like, <laughs> like where does where does that energy come from? I'm the only child, so I had a lot of time to myself. I had a lot of time to myself. I played by myself. Uh, I had to figure it out. I didn't have nobody to play with, and the only time I did was when I visited my grandmother's house. So all that energy is just like bolted up in me. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, in talking about just, you know, the success you've been having so far, like, are you having any, any pinch me moments as you kind of go along? Are you like, as you meet, maybe meet different people or maybe just different experiences being in on stages and in, in big arenas, like, are you having, you know, some kind of pinch me moments um, along the journey so far? I always have them. I always have them. And then I get pinched and then I wake up and need to be pinched again. Like I always gotta be pinched. So <laughs> I don't know what else, I don't know. I, I don't know what's gonna uh, get me to realize like things are really happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. Are you, um, has, has there been anyone you met so far that you're kind of like, like the afterwards you kind of geeked out or like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I met that person. Uh, a couple of people, uh, Sierra, uh, Meek, I remember when I first met Meek, I couldn't believe it. I, you know, I was geeked about seeing just recently something in the water. Am I a okay? I, yeah, I was geeked to see her. Like, I not in a million years that I think that I would ever get to speak to that lady for real. For real, I like, I didn't think I would be in the same room as her or anything. And of course, you know, the goats, we got it's a couple. I just met Chris Brown, I met Pharrell. Mm -hmm. Like, I met a lot of. I met Cardi. Okay. I met Cardi. So it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. And it must be trippy though when the when they're actually when these people are actually fans of you. Yeah, like most of them are like not even most. Every single last one of them was so kind to me, like for real, for real. Like I've always felt like they was welcoming me in. Mm -hmm. So let's get into the music. Let's talk about um. Don't play with it. Like how how did that song? come about like what was the process of you just kind of like coming up with that song okay so 
Shout out to Dizzy Banco. He's the producer of Don't Play With It. I would just be on the phone with him, just random talks about music, uh, trying to strategize for him or me, whatever. And he would play me some beats. And just that one day I was like, yo, send me this beat right now. He was like, all right, cool. He sent it to me. I listened to it in the house a little bit. Didn't really like vibe to it yet. I just wanted to hear it. I was like, okay, when I go to studio, I got some beats that I could listen to. I put that on. And the first thing that just came out was like, don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. I don't know, I don't know why it came out, but maybe I just felt like I was tired of being played with. Mm. Like I've been doing this for some time now and I'm not just doing it. I'm really taking my time and giving quality music, you know? So what's going on? Like, I know I'm small, but y'all gotta hear me. Like, come on now. So yeah, and I went to the studio, did my thing sent it out for another artist to get on it and that's what it was okay it was it was just a vibe it's a vibe yeah so, so, so what, what went to the decision because obviously you know the, the remix came a few years after like what was the the thought process of just like you know at this the first song came out in 2021 it's 2023 we're gonna do a remix like what kind of went to the thought of just you know doing the remix at, at this point because the song didn't start heating up until 2022 it's been out 2021 it heated up for real for real 2022 and like the next six months uh four to six months i did a remix to it so i basically just worked with the record whatever whatever the, i worked with the record pace so whatever was the excitement to it i just gravitated to it and enhanced it that's all it must have been it must be so weird because i think when you're an artist and you put the song out there you have no control over like whether the song catches, like when it catches. So it's interesting for you. Like it must have been interesting as an artist to put it out there and see that after, you know, after some time, finally the song like, you know, catches on. Um, yeah. And it's a, a lot of people will come to me and say, Am I tired of don't play with it? But I legit was promoting don't play with it before it was like a big thing. I was already promoting it like it was. So when it finally did take off, it didn't feel no different. It just felt like I was just doing the same thing that I've been doing. Mm-hmm. And then I'm performing my own music. So, like, as you should be, as you should be. Yeah. You're kidding. So let's, let's talk about the newer track now, just relax. Like, Obviously, you know, you're jumping on a legend. It's a legendary beat you're jumping on here. You know, mm. choice is yours. What, what, first of all, what went into you deciding to jump on that particular beat? And did you have any fear about kind of jumping on such a, a legendary beat? Okay, so the beat was brought to me from uh, Reefa Music, the producer of Just Relax. And he was just saying to me, hey, I think you could do this. You should do it. And he told me the uh, background history of the uh, record. I know it was a classic. And yeah, I did kind of get scared because I was like, I don't know. I don't know how can I make something that was before before me make it uh, my like in my world, like in my peers world and bring it to now. So I was a little ner- nervous about that. But I just kept saying to myself, just be yourself and just do you. And we and we we did our thing. And it's crazy because the record got done. Literally, we was done probably five. We left studio five, six in the morning. I got to studio at like 4.30, I think. Like 3, 3.30 to 4.30. We left around like six. And I remember we had a good old time. God bless uh, take uh, death. But uh, Quavo and him had a release party for the project. We celebrated with them had fun, I still had studio, had to go back and cut, just relax. And I was just like, I'm, I gotta make sure when I go home, I feel like I had fun today and I worked. Like, I don't like to go home feeling like I just played all day. Like, I, that's the point of me saying, don't play with it. I can't be playing all day. Mm-hmm. And the record came out. Yeah, did you did you hear from Black Sheep at all? Did they kind of reach out after, at all and say, yo, like we, we heard the track? You gotta see the video, cause I got a special yeah. guest. Okay. I want to tell. Should I tell? No, you have to watch the video. Okay. 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 We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll, de- we'll definitely we'll definitely watch it. But uh, yes. I'm, I'm I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. So I, w- I want to talk to you about the whole like female rapper things. I think I think it was earlier this year that academics came out and said that um it seemed like right now like the women were kind of like leading in, in a sense in hip hop. Like a lot of the biggest club tracks, the catchiest hooks were coming from like. You know, you say yourself, Glorilla, like uh, Coyle, Ray, Lotto. 
Do you yeah. agree with that? Like, do you feel like the women are kind of like leading right now a little bit in, in when it comes to, to, to hip hop? Yeah, the women in hip hop is leading a lot. They can't, the women in hip hop can't be stopped right now. I think mm -hmm. it's to the point, you see how I was like, don't play with it. I think I'm not the only female that's telling everybody don't play with it. I think they're tired. So they put in the work in, well, the work that they've been putting in, of course. But for some reason, timing is everything to me. So it just take patience, consistency, everybody work together, get the job done, complete the mission. Mm -hmm. I, I really feel like, Right now, like, like obviously, obviously in hip hop, there's always been a stigma around like the female rapper. And I've been thinking lately, I, I feel like the whole female rapper thing is not there anymore. Like, I feel like now, I mean, I could just be me, but I feel like you guys are just rappers now. And I think, and I feel like the female rapper thing is gone. Like, do you get that sense that there's kind of like a bit of a, a leveling of the, the playing field? I love that. We're our, we're just rappers. There's there's no such thing as female male rapper. We're just rappers because we're doing the same exact thing that these guys are doing and sometimes even better. So, mm -hmm. no, definitely, definitely. I've been, I mean, you know, I've been playing, I've been playing you know, your track and some of the other ladies as well. So uh, definitely. Now, before we go, um, you, you did a cameo in East in New York, you did a little acting. Is that, is that something you can, is that something you can expect more of? Like, are you going to kind of get more into that whole acting bag at all? Of course, yes, of course. I love acting. I was on set for like for so many hours, and I loved everything about it. Like I just loved it so much because, but it's so crazy because the East New York, um, the um character that I play, I pretty much just had to be myself. So I don't know. If my first, my first real gig was like a cheat code mm. because I just had to be Brooklyn, you know. Yeah, but it was fun. I'm looking forward to doing like other acting gigs as well. Of course, of course. Now, before we go, anything, anything else you have you have coming up? You want to like let us know about any upcoming and upcoming singles, music videos, projects. Anything you want to let us know about? I am working on my project though. I don't have a name and I don't have a date, but <laughs> but I know the project is coming. Yeah, have a project for, um, from me before the fall, for sure. Well, thank you again for your time. Uh, you know, we look forward to seeing you again performing in Toronto, you know, headlining, you know, headlining your own, you know, yes. that, that, let's just put it out there. Let's just put it that, put that out there. there. But um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again in Toronto and, uh, all, you know, all the best with everything. And congratulations again on all your success. So much.